Tonight, Providence residents get to voice their opinions and hear more about a proposed skyscraper in the capital city. At a public meeting tonight, a New York real estate developer's team gave an hour-long presentation about his plans for a 46-story building. The Providence skyline would change if the Fane Tower is approved. That's part of the reason why some community groups are against the historically tall tower. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian was at tonight's meeting. She joins us now live in studio with more. Kim? Well, Mike and Shannon, you might remember that this debate over this building started back in 2016. That's when the developer wanted to build three towers. Well, now it's just one, but the sticking point is the height, which is still up for debate. The Hope Point Tower proposal back before the city's ordinance committee has Providence leaders mall developer Jason Fain's request to change the area's height limit from 130 feet to 600. If the city council approves our zoning application, the tower would provide four important benefits to Providence and Rhode Island, and they are housing, taxes, jobs, and economic growth. Fain addressing the council for the first time Monday night, asking that after two years, they greenlight his plans to build a 46-story residential tower on the former 195 land. His speech came after a nearly hour-long presentation, including a video, testimony by lawyers, architects, and a local business professor, all touting the benefits of the plan. The team released new renderings showing the high-rise among Providence's current city skyline. Public testimony that followed was mixed. I'm opposed to the current height of the project. However, we should not say no because of the current design shortcomings. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity to build a project and create massive jobs for the people that we represent. I don't know about you, but I, I'm tired of hearing about big projects like this going 50 miles north. They belong here. Again, I applaud smart development. The Fox Point Neighborhood Association supports smart development. This tower is in the wrong location. Council members did not cast a vote Monday night. The committee will take it up again in the future to decide whether to send it to the full council. And as far as the height of this tower goes, one of the architects tonight says it's about critical mass, too tall, and you'll have empty units, too short, and it's not financially viable. They believe this height is what's right for the project, and they don't plan to budge. Live in studio, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.